Hey guys, got some more first impressions for you. Uh, a whole buttload of bond samples that I've acquired uh, somewhat recently. Kind of built them up over a while. A bunch of these I have not smelled yet. Uh, just haven't gotten around to smelling some of this new stuff. So thought I'd shoot a first impressions video. Uh, a couple of them I have smelled. One or two I've worn quite a few times, so it's not really first impressions, but whatever. We'll get to it. So, let's do these in alphabetical order. These are the first ten. I've got even more of these. I don't know how many videos it's going to take. Um, my camera cuts out sometimes because I have to. I literally do this on my phone, and there's only so much space I have on there, so that's why sometimes they cut out like that. Um, but So if it cuts out in the middle of the video, I apologize. There will be a part two or part three or however many it takes me to get through with all these. So, anyways, first of all, we have... Bond's Andy Warhol. This is one of their newest ones. Um, there it is. This is not one of the old Andy Warhol flankers. This is plain old Andy Warhol. Um, whew. All right, well, notes. We have citrus, bergamot, uh, cypress and plum up top, and oud, rose, patchouli, labanum, jasmine in the middle, olibanum, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. Now, I smelled this in the store once, very briefly, and this is very heavy on plum. Um, it's got a, it's a sweet plum. Don't really get a lot of spiciness. Not a lot of floweriness, certainly no oud. I'm not getting any of that. Um, this is really, right now, for me, dominated by the plum. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's a little fruity. Eh, not bad. If you like plum notes, then I would definitely take a look at it, but otherwise, I don't know. Nothing fantastic. Next one up is. Also an Andy Warhol. This is Silver Factory. This one's been around for a little while. So, let's see what we got here. Alrighty. Okay, this is a little bit different. Um, ooh, a little bit more to that one. Uh, let's see. Notes. Bergamot. Grapefruit. What else is that? Something else is not showing up. Incense, definitely get incense. Jasmine, violets, iris, resin, cedar, and amber. I mostly am getting the base notes here and this incense. There's a little bit of freshness that I'm getting up top. Um, but really, this is dominated by the the incense and the resin and the amber, the heavier notes. Um, I would imagine, yeah, this would definitely be a lot better for cooler weather. This is definitely not fruity. This is definitely not a light flowery one. Um, this is nice. Um, I think this would be good for somebody who's looking in that colder weather scent area. Um, yeah. This reminds me a little bit of Japon Noir from Tom Ford. Not much, um, but in that kind of resinous, slightly burning scent. It's not too far off. That's a good one. I like that. Next up is another Andy Warhol. This is Success is a Job in New York. Not showing up. What else is new? Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. Oy. This one's definitely a lot fresher. Um, definitely get some light, fresh fruitiness, maybe a little bit of flowers in here. Yeah, it's nice. Um, so we got spicy citrus, start of coriander, cardamom, mandarin, bergamot, middle of jasmine, tuberose, rue, rose, whoa, plum, pepper, and a base of vanilla, patchouli, and amber. They really are mixing up some of these notes here. Um, they're not mixing them up, but <laughs> kind of 
overlapping them. Um, there's definitely some freshness, a little bit more floral here than I get in the original Andy Warhol or the just plain old Andy Warhol. It's not original. Um, not getting maybe very some vanilla. Yeah, there's definitely vanilla in there, but I don't get really any patchouli or amber. Um, this is a lot lighter. Um, there claims to be a pepper scent in really paprika pepper. No, that I'm not getting that at all. If it is, it's very faint. Because mixing with these other notes, you'd notice it, and it's not there. Um, is a good one for the spring, summer, not really the fall. I don't see it as. No, it's it's too flowery and fresh. It's good, but it's not. I don't know. Kind of seems like it's been done before. Anyways. Next up.